Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sips and Sticks. My name is Benjamin and today we're going to be reviewing the Macanoodle Inspirato Orange Label. This is the second cigar of the Macanudo Inspirato line that I'm going to be reviewing and I'm really excited because I definitely enjoyed the Macanudo White. If you've never smoked cigars, Macanudo is a great place to start. If you've been smoking cigars for a while and you consider yourself somewhat of an aficionado, then you already know about Macanudo and how great they are. Alright, but there's no better way to review it than light it up and smoke it, so let's do it. Okay, so right from the start, there's definitely a lot of flavor. So I'm picking up strong notes of spice, earth, and cedar. And it has a really light cream consistency in the beginning. A little bit of creamy notes, lots of spicy notes, and lots of wood notes. I'm not picking up a whole lot of other than those flavors in this first third. So I'm going to dig a little more into the first third, and I'll tell you how it develops. All right, so I've been digging a little more into the first third here, and that little slight creaminess was there in the beginning. It has completely disappeared, and we are just getting a lot of spice and a lot of wood and a little bit of earth. The burn in the beginning seems to be pretty consistent. All right, I'm going to keep puffing on this, and when we get to the second third, I'll let you know if anything's changed. While we're getting down to the second third, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the cigar. So it's wrapped with a Honduras wrapper and binder, and the tobaccos inside are from the Dominican Republic, from Honduras, and from Nicaragua. So we know it's going to be packed with a lot of flavor, especially with those Nicaraguan tobaccos. The draw on this cigar seems to be right where it needs to be. It's still really spicy in the middle, still really spicy, especially on the retro hill. Got a lot of that light pepper heavy cinnamon in there. I would say in the second third it has started to develop a slight nutty flavor. As you can see the burn isn't perfect but the ash is doing pretty well at staying on there. Alright so let's talk about pairings. I would pair this with a bourbon, a cognac, or an aged tequila. The Macanudo Inspirato Orange is a medium to full bodied cigar. So we're getting down to the end of the second third and the beginning of the final third and I can tell you that the flavors have remained consistent for the most part. A lot of wood, a lot of earth, and a lot of spice. There's a little bit of that nuttiness there, but it's just a hint. Overall, I would definitely say this is a decent cigar. If you haven't tried Macanudo, again, I would definitely recommend giving them a try. Thanks again for watching another episode of Sips and Sticks, and I'll see you on the next episode.